Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for the 17th through the 23rd. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid and if you are confused by this reading then it's not for you. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Typically my readings are love readings, that's what I focus on. Whatever comes up, comes up. I don't change my tone for anybody. Just so y'all know, if you haven't watched me, whatever comes out, comes out. I am right on the cusp of Gemini, right on the day it switches over, and my Venus is in Gemini. I have a lot of other aspects with Gemini pretty prominently, so I'm pretty cut to the chase. Definitely no sugar coating, which you guys are good. It's the cross watchers we gotta worry about here. <laughs> you guys like like it, you know, the way you can tell it like it is, right? So you guys completely understand, you you know, it's all good. But we got some cross watchers that have, uh, you know, whatever. You know, I don't even need to say it. They're weaker than you. I'm sure those weak ones will hit thumbs down at this point. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not. Anyhow, um, and that's exactly how it is. I mean, I'm just telling you, this is it. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, shit, I'm not. <laughs> Whenever I go to do your readings, it's like another side comes out of me. It's, it's this crazy shit, okay? It's like, you guys are so honest and truthful. It's like <laughs> integrity, honesty. Okay, this is making firm, solid decisions. You know, it's like, ah, I know exactly what I want. Thank you very much. And I think that you guys do it out of integrity. You know, you have a lot of backbone. You you do the right thing, even if it hurts. It's pretty evident here. Um, here, we have the hangman. It's like sacrificing, but I think you guys are probably about to stop sacrificing yourself or something. You're stalling, perhaps? I don't know. Mm -hmm. A hey man gets me every time. You're hanging on to something, apparently. Or you were and you're no longer. That could certainly be the case, is you're no longer because it is reversed. You could be giving up hope on a situation. Charging forward. So you are charging forward. Not putting in effort into something anymore. Accepting the truth of a situation. There's movement here. There is movement. I think that you have decided that it's time to focus your energy in a new direction. Things have been stalled for quite some time. They have been stalled, okay? Nothing to celebrate right here. You could have been engaged with a third party situation. You could have been dealing with a person that had two options, you know, you and somebody else. Feels like you are letting it go, though. I think you're letting somebody go. No more stalling. Not going to put in another ounce of my energy into this situation. And I think that you're feeling very lively because of it. And anybody that gets in your way at this time is probably going to get hurt. That's what, it, you know, they could get cut. Probably start crying, too. Um, anyway, um... You know, there's some, there's, uh, I think that you may reveal some truth or speak your truth and probably that cross watcher or that person that you're dealing with may not like what you have to say. I feel as though you've been trying to hold it back for some time. Maybe you've been trying to keep it within and not say anything, but it's probably come to the point of, um, bursting and you may charge forward and speak your truth and it may not make this other person very happy okay um i see that you guys are like becoming alive again you're letting go of something for sure you've you've given up hope you've given up hope on a situation in which you've been hanging on to so you may have been hanging on to could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or it could be another uh, air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You, you know, I feel like you've been holding on to somebody that you have come to the realization there's no success here. There's no stability. Um, 
there's nothing to celebrate. There's no reunion. There's no reason for me to hang on to this anymore. And now it looks as though you have probably received a message of love from somebody else. Okay, there's an offer. Whether you're offering your love to somebody else or somebody's offering love to you, you are probably receiving messages um, of a loving nature from somebody. Could be a water sign. Maybe now you have a new water sign that's entered your life. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. That could lead to wish fulfillment. Um, there is an offer of love here, though. I think that you guys have an, an opportunity for love here. Because you guys stand up for yourself. It's like, you know what? I'm on top here. I don't need to play your games. Yeah, it's like you have, you have you're dealing with the conflict. It's like you... This is competition. Hmm. It's like you're ready to fight. I mean, this kind of looks like, you know, look at the fists. It's like you're ready to fight. It's like, <laughs> yeah. And this is kind of bullheaded, very bullheaded. So you must be taking on this energy. I think that somebody, it, there could be a fight of some sort, just saying. Um, maybe between two people. Okay, we have these two pages here, so I don't know. There could be a fight on the horizon. And, um, <laughs> ooh. So you're probably, there's a water sign and an earth sign, like I said before. We have water, earth, and we have air, though. We have, so, okay, so we have air, which is probably you. Then we have a water sign, and we have an earth sign. Oh, my goodness gracious. And I feel as though there's a competition between these two people. Son of a bitch. So there's a competition. And you're probably right in the middle of this competition. Unbelievable. You have to decide which door you're going to go through, which path you're going to go through, which one is the best path. You may, th you know, which one is the safest option. You're, you're right now, you don't know what to do. You're at a crossroads, you have to make a choice. Do you stay sacrificing yourself for somebody that you did have feelings for, you think you have feelings for, or whatever? Or do you move forward with this new opportunity for love? Because there is. I think you have absolutely two choices. You're probably receiving messages or you're communicating with both. Somebody, somebody is stubbornly hanging on, not letting go. And then you have this other offer. But this person that's stubbornly hanging on really doesn't want you. They really don't put in effort. They, you know, they don't make you feel secure. You don't feel like there's any hope in that, but you have feelings for them, perhaps. And you're like, it's all or nothing, buddy. It's all or nothing. Yeah, you're trying to keep things balanced. And you're, you're like, you know what? I want somebody who's going to give it all. Balance my life out. You know, it's, it's equality here. I'm not going to do all the work. If you want to be part of my life, then you're going to have to put in some effort. You know, you're going to have to give equally to this situation. This is about getting what you deserve. So I feel like you are getting an offer from somebody that could balance out your life. You know, that you could come together very nicely, compliment you, but you're still dealing with another individual who is stubbornly hanging on. Or you're stubbornly hanging on to them. It could go both ways. And this is needing to defend yourself honestly. Being honest with yourself. You've got to be honest. And I know that you are. I know that you are. I think that you are receiving communication from a water sign. Could be any sign. We've got them all here. This is about taking action. Act now. Think later. Follow your, follow your gut. Get your ass in gear. You, you're definitely moving in a new direction very, very, very quickly. Action is absolutely being taken. There's no doubt about it. Somebody is headed in your direction very quickly. And there's, and there's passion. And it's, it's time for you to make a decision in which you haven't been making a decision. Okay? Both of these twos are reversed. And these are both about choices and paths. And I feel as though... You know, you've been indecisive for way too long. And it's, it's time for you to just stop restricting a new beginning. Don't restrict it no more. Take this mask off about whoever this person is that 
you've been stubbornly holding on to her. They've been stubbornly holding on to you. Make the decision either to move forward or stay. You, you gotta, you gotta make a choice here. Um, you definitely have a choice between two options. There's no doubt about it. Cause we, I mean, look at this. We have the two pages. We have two knights. We have these two twos. I mean, there's a, definitely a choice. You have two options. Do you stay? Do you stay hanging on to something that maybe was stable at one time, or you may have thought was going to lead to security, or do you move forward into this new connection that, you know, we could? It's like it's there now. We have just now we're just seeing the Ace of Cups. So somebody is offering you love. Somebody is offering you love, Gemini. But you're going to have to let go of your fears. Let go of your fears of being hurt. Mm, you could be dealing with a Pisces. But this is about fears as well. It is about fears. It's about facing your fears. Confusion. Illusion. Something's going on behind the scenes. There's some hidden forces here. There is some hidden forces here. You are definitely at a crossroads and you have to make a decision. And it is quite a mystery, isn't it? It's very much a mystery. It's like you don't even, it's very confusing. You don't know what to do. I feel like you're, one, of, one of your fears is giving up your independence. It's true. You know, I'm not sure if I want to give up my independence fully. Or I'm not sure if this is stable. I'm really afraid that, you know, this is just a fantasy. I'm, I'm afraid that this might not be real. And what am I going to lose if I, you know, accept this offer of love? You're try really trying to discern the situation at this time. And protect yourself. Protect yourself from getting burned. There we go. We have an ending here. Death, transition, transformation. Endings bring new beginnings. Whatever you are holding on to or whoever's holding on to you that shouldn't be, you just need to let it end because you have a new beginning here. That's what this is. Go with the new. There's an opportunity. You know, you're receiving some sort of communication probably from both individuals. Either you're communicating with them or they're communicating with you and you need to truly look forward okay don't don't go back look forward because there's an opportunity for passion there's an opportunity for excitement there's an opportunity for love but you have to you have to unblock your heart okay you need to unblock your fears okay just drop that shit i know that it's easier said than done but this is a transition it's a release okay release this offer is pure okay somebody is offering you pure love and I think it's somebody that, no, oh, this person wants, is, it could lead to commitment, it could lead to marriage, it could lead to a lot of happiness. But I think that this person is, is probably a water sign, the new one. I think the other one is either an air or an earth sign that is still in, it's either this person is still in your thoughts or they're still in your life or it's, it's impacting this opportunity for long-term success, commitment, marriage with this water sign. Could be a water sign too, as well. In the past, what it, whatever it is, you have to make a choice between two, and that's that's what this is. Absolutely, whatever it is, whatever you're headed, it could head towards marriage. It could head towards a lot of happiness. If you are single and you have not met this person yet, you could meet somebody at a gathering, you know, a picnic, um, something where there's a bunch of people that get together to honor another person or honor a couple. Could be an anniversary. Could be anything. But you could, you know, it could even be a death. You can, you know, a funeral. It could be because we have this gathering. So I, if you have not met this person, you could meet this person um, soon. But I feel like you're really content with where you're at. Really, really content. I feel like you've invested a lot of time and energy into yourself. I think that you're feeling very stable and secure. The only problem is, is there's still a remnant of somebody from your past. And it, it, it could, doesn't have to be way past. There's still somebody that is in the past that is 
still in the mix somewhere and you need to let that die once and for all. You just need to whoo, cut it out. Cut it right out of your life. Because there's an opportunity for love here. These are seeds that you planted a long time ago and now they are coming to fruition. There's a new partnership that is meant to be, Gemini. It is. It's meant to come together at this time. It's a genuine offer of love. And it's a, I mean, now we have the, all these twos, okay? It's faith and trust. You have to have faith and trust in this new opportunity. Allow it to be. I mean, it's a divine connection. Look at the light coming out of the cups. It's like the universe is bringing you together. The time is now. It's something that you have been waiting for. You have done the work on yourself to the point where now you are going to get your reward if you let whatever it is end that needs to end. Real. Really, 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 really let it end. You release it. You receive this new opportunity. So that's what this is. You have an opportunity for love. True love. True love. And I really feel like this true love is with a water sign. I really, really, really do. Um... Because we have, I just do, I just feel like that, that it's with a water sign. But I think there's an earth sign or an air sign that needs to be, could be an earth sign, an air sign, or even a water sign, a fire sign, could be anybody. There is, there's a, there's a person or a situation or a thought that needs to be released completely, completely. Because you're headed in a new direction. You are. It's time to be logical and cut whatever doesn't serve you out of your life because you have an opportunity that is very happy. It's something you've been waiting for. A lot of happiness here with a lot of passion as well. I mean, there ain't nothing missing from this new opportunity. There's passion, there's stability, there's love. There is. I mean, there's there's stability, there's passion. There's love in this new connection. It's what it's 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 dream come true. Whatever needs to die, kill it. I mean not kill it, but you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying? Don't go physically kill it. <laughs> you know, you know, you know. I don't want to say the wrong thing here. probably get in trouble for that one like I said whenever I whenever I do your readings I, I like become alive and that's what's happening you guys are, are becoming alive and I'm like I have like a Gemini I mean I'm, I'm on that day so and I'm Venus Gemini so I mean I, I do your reading and it's like I don't even know I have become a new person and I have become a new person so I'm on fire and I feel like you must be on fire too I think that you guys are on fire I'm like popping. So that must be where you're at. Finding sanctuary. Opening to your spiritual source. This means you need to go in, go within and take a minute. Rest, rejuvenate, tune in to your spiritual source. It's time it's a time it, it hits in time of retreat in inner sanctuary that you can truly hear the voice of your soul. Go within and find your inner refuge. Be a safe haven for others. Step forward with grace, deliberation, and thoughtfulness. Take moments for reflection. Profound healing of physical and emotional wounds can can occur in the stillness of sanctuary. Difficult situations can be averted by taking time to go within. And like I said, there's something that needs to be released. So if you need to take a time out to release something, this is a time out, but this is becoming alive again. So after you take the time out to release something that there's still some remnants there, you release it, then this new opportunity is going to just whew, blossom. Totally, totally blossom. So that's what I see. I see that there is love here and it's 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 a it's a real connection that I wouldn't throw away. That's my reading for you.
Don't go hurting nobody. <laughs>